I'm David Marsland and this is the Evening Standards front page. Boris Johnson's confirmed air passengers heading into the UK will face 10 days of quarantine in hotels. Under plans being decided by ministers over the next 24 hours, some travellers will be put on buses and driven directly to isolation centres. The Prime Minister says the country has to realise there is at least the theoretical risk of a vaccine-busting variant coming into the UK, which quarantine hotels could help block. The Evening Standards revealed vaccine centres in London are being forced to close their doors for days at a time because of a shortage of jabs. Two hubs in Harrow are being forced to send vaccinators and volunteers home and redirect vulnerable elderly residents miles across the borough. London continues to lag behind the rest of the country for vaccine rollout, with 10.7% of the England-wide total of 5.9 million having been given in the capital. Senior Tory MPs are rounding on the government with calls to set out a plan to reopen schools and prevent more harm to children's education and mental health. Robert Halfen, the chairman of the Commons Education Select Committee, has asked the Speaker to force Education Secretary Gavin Williamson to tell MPs what his blueprint for reopening is. It comes as the Children's Commissioners pleading for hope and clarity to be given to families of children suffering from isolation and failing confidence. The ex-wife of a celebrity photographer has admitted killing her disabled 10-year-old son when vital care was withdrawn during the coronavirus lockdown. Olga Freeman had a breakdown while under pressure to look after Dylan, suffocating him at their home in Acton, West London, and leaving his body under a duvet surrounded by toys last August. The Old Bailey heard Dylan had autism and a range of conditions restricting his sight and communication, which meant he needed 24-hour care. His father, Dean Freeman, who was in Spain when his son died, said in a statement he was beyond devastated. Mrs Justice Chima Grubb adjourned sentencing until next month when she will consider detaining Freeman in hospital for mental health treatment. The article of impeachment against Donald Trump is on its way to the Senate. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's move will start the former president's trial on a charge of incitement of insurrection over the deadly Capitol riot. But the schedule for proceedings remains uncertain, with Democrats in the chamber also working to confirm Joe Biden's cabinet nominees and debate a new round of coronavirus relief. And finally, Chelsea have confirmed the sacking of manager Frank Lampard, with Thomas Tuchel being lined up to take over at Stamford Bridge. Lampard's been dismissed 18 months into his three-year contract as head coach following a recent slump in form. The club says it was a very difficult decision to part with a legend, but it was decided a change is needed to give them time to improve this season. You're up to date. There's more on all of these stories and more at standard.co.uk.